Hey everybody, it's Fuzzy18 here. Um, thought I'd make a podcast. <laughs> Haven't done one of those in a long time. Um, so what's this podcast going to be about mostly? Um, as you guys can probably guess, I'm a furry. I have been a furry for a really long time, and I don't accept any haters that talk shit about furries, because... Quite honestly, the people that stay that say stuff about furries don't really know what it's like being a furry, because they see us as well, you know, porn basically. <laughs> but um, that's what this is all going to be about: is just me discussing my furryisms and um, possibly talking about the gaming company that I'm a part of, which is Deathware Productions. Um, hmm what to talk about next. Hmm. Well, I guess I could talk about how I started becoming a furry. Um, I was about five years old when I first watched Catch the Musical, and as I watched it, it really inspired me, I guess. Um, I really wasn't a open furry for a really long time. In fact, it was this year when I finally came to terms with it. Um, because my family and a lot of other people, you know, the fur fag thing really upset me. And I tried to keep my furryisms down to a minimum because, well, quite frankly, I just didn't want to be picked on or called a fur fag or whatever else, you know. I just did not want that because um, I, I can't handle that and I didn't want to blow up on some random person. Um, but... I mean, yeah. So, basically, um, this year, when I really heavily got into it, I mean, I just finally gave up, and I called my mate on the phone, Darker Gaming. <laughs> no, yeah, he has a YouTube, too. Anyway, I called him on the phone, and I basically just said... I'm a furry, and I don't care if you accept me or not, but that's who I am, and you're going to have to deal with me because I will fursuit eventually when I have the money, and I will wear my cat ears in public and my tail and my collar, which is really pretty anyway, um, because I've just stopped giving a damn about what people think, because, <laughs> you know, why live your life? Um, worrying about what people think of you when all you need to care about is yourself, really. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a selfish way. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I really don't. But what I mean is that you don't need to care what other people think of you. You need to care what you think of you. If being a furry makes you happy, then do it. Um, another example was around that time, um, one of my best friends, David, um, had decided that he was going to experiment with being a transvestite, which was a shock to us all, but whatever. Um, but I told him that I accepted him for that. I mean, it's not my business. It's not hurting me that he wants to do whatever, you know? Just like it's not hurting anybody else if I'm a furry or my boyfriend's a furry or my mom's a furry or whatever. It's not their business. So... I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm just sick of all the furry hate because why does it bother you so much? And I apologize quickly for my um, sudden stops. My sound recorder only records a minute at a time, so yeah. But onward, um, it doesn't. It's like being gay. How does that affect a straight person? Same with being a furry. Why does it bother you? Why do you have to just search it down and just bash it? How would you all feel if we started bashing what you are? Like, saying that football players are stupid, or cheerleaders are uh, whores, or whatever. How would you feel? I mean, you know, just my opinion on things. Because if we're not being a furry on you, and we're not forcing ourselves on you, then you really shouldn't force yourselves on us. Um, I don't want to make this all about um, hate, though, because... <laughs> That's not the kind of person I am. I just felt like I needed to complain for, like, five seconds. But, well, more than five, but whatever. 
but I digress. Um, I met a lot of really cool people now that I've admitted my um, being a furry. I met Chaz, who was a husky. Um, I met a ton of people on Fur Affinity. I mean, that site is my new crack. I love it. Um, there's some really cool people there. Um, hmm. And I converted one of my really good friends into being a furry, too. He's a German Shepherd. I am even trying to well, get Darker Gaming to join in on it, since he says he likes furries, but he's never really been one, so I'm trying to get him to be one, since he's a werewolf in my eyes, but even though werewolves aren't furries, it's just, I see him as a wolf. I mean, if you guys just looked into his eyes, you all would understand, because he has these Hidokiri wolf eyes that just are amazing. Um, a lot of people that have looked into his eyes, um, have told me that he looks like a wolf or a husky or some similar type of canine, but, um, I've always seen him as a wolf because that's the feeling I got when I looked into his eyes, and that's just what his aura tells me, that he definitely has the characteristics of a wolf. I mean, that's his totem, so... <laughs> Um, mine's a panther, ironically. <laughs> but, again, digressing to another topic. Um, a little about me personally. I, um, I'm a role player. I have a ton of characters, and I don't just role play furry. I have some humanoids, and I have Nikos, and I have, uh, dog girls and boys, yoi characters, just about anything you could think of, um, um, other than writing and role-playing, I'm really big into video games. I play a lot of them. My favorite series is Phoenix Wright, and, I mean, a close second would, of course, be Kingdom Hearts and then Silent Hill. I play mostly RPG and strategy games, um, and I sing, sort of, but you're probably never going to hear that unless requested because I don't think I do it well even though people tell me I do, but whatever. Um, I'm an artist. I draw, and I do a lot of stuff like that. I draw furries <laughs> really well, and um, I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm a staff member, right, on like three sites or whatever, um, because I'm really into HTML coding and that kind of thing. I took a class this year on web design, and um, I passed it completely in the final with a very high um, A average. Um, I love my pets, and I love my boyfriend, and I love a lot of things. Um, my pets include a betta fish named um, Caro. I have a horse named Sammy, a dog named Soda and three beautiful cats named Dumplings, Thomas, and um, Jade. They are like my life. I love my animals. Um, so other than that, I guess this is the end, guys. So um, comment, subscribe, please. That would be awesome. And um, ask me any questions. I'll answer them in my um, next podcast. So peace, world. I love you all.